That's not good enough. Let's turn this here. This looks better. All right. Uh, so just a quick recap, so that in case you want to do this in your own time, but you can stretch with us if you if you want. Um, so we're going to do a few different stretches, mostly based around your your hips and your your legs. Okay. So first, uh, we're going to work on external rotation. So we're going to have our foot out, dropping our shoulder down. We're going to move back a little bit, dropping your shoulder down here. So that's going to work external rotation of the hip. We're going to work our hamstring and, and sciatic nerve. We'll also work for the, the, the splits. Um, and we'll do some active ones of those too. Okay, so like actively straight leg raising and actively doing this external rotation. Uh, we're going to work our hip flexion. So we're going to have our, our knee pointing up, trying to get our shoulder down towards the, the mat here. We're going to work our abduction, so we'll do some, some splits, side splits type, type actions, or with Liv is going to help me here. You can get someone to help you with this, hopefully you're not completely by yourself, you're pushing out like so, otherwise you can still do the, the regular splits there. Uh, we're going to work some internal rotation of the, of the hip, foot there, turning in, um, and what else are we working with? Uh, feet. Oh, your foot. I'm wearing socks so I can slide <coughs> on the ground. Suggest you do the same because sometimes you want to like slide on the ground to get a bit of extra range. Okay, foot on the ground, and pushing on your foot, trying to get your, I guess, like foot supination. Also, hip flexion to lunge. Did hip flexion? Oh. Yeah. Um, and uh, we're also maybe just do. Let's just do it. Now. Yeah, a little bit of. Cross body like this. Okay, try to get some rotation of your trunk. Alright. Yeah, but this is like a people want to do short. Yeah. Let's do it. Summary. Alright, so let's get into it. Foot out nice and wide, dropping your face as much as you can to the ground. Even your outside leg, try and point it down towards the your knee down towards the ground as you can if you can. And have your shoulder going down towards your foot, like so with your shoulders facing the mat. So like you're going down here, okay? Like so, right? We should get a timer. So we'll try and do a timer, you know, roughly one minute per stretch. We've got about 20 minutes until we actually do a live uh, technique session, so. So I would, I would, it should be uncomfortable, you know, like I think if you're, if you want to make it uncomfortable when, you, when you're doing these, if you're going to uh, light, it's not going to really do much, I don't think, so yeah, unfortunately that's, that sucks a little bit, but that's what you want, alright. Um, I had a few people ask questions about this, like, um, just on that previous post, like, um, you, if you're... You can change, like some people said, oh, aren't you just kind of, once at a certain point, can you just not be any more flexible? Like, no, you can definitely improve your range of motion um, and your flexibility. There's some movements have a bony block. For example, your your elbow, okay, it straightens and it is blocked by your bones running into each other. You can't stretch your bones like that. That's, that's going to be, like, however much you can straighten your elbow, unless you've had an injury, uh, is pretty much going to be going to be uh, the same, right? You can't stretch that. But things that are locked by, by ligament or muscle, you can definitely stretch. Now, now there is a trade-off. The more flexible you are, the less stable your joints are. Um, so you actually have more chance of being injured the more flexible you are, unless you are also developing some extra strength and stability around the joint to, to kind of make up for that, okay? Now imagine, um, you know, if you just think generally, like, muscles are there to try and stabilize a joint. If the joint moves more, it's harder to stabilize. So the more flexibility you have, the harder it is to stabilize, the more likely you are to be injured. Um, but that said, there's certain, uh, at the same time, sometimes if you're very stiff, you, you can get injured more as well. For example, I gave an uh, example of how you can strain your neck if your lower back and your hips aren't flexible when you're getting stacked. So that's a good example of, of that, all right? Um, yeah, anyway, let's get back into stretching. So we're now on the other side. 
Putting our shoulders coming down towards the mat. All right. So that was our hip external rotation. Now let's do some active ones of that. So lying on your back. I'll just put your hand, turn your knee out as much as you can. Put your hand and try and touch your, your hand. Okay, I'm gonna do one minute of this and I'll keep alternating feet. If you're getting it, then move it a little higher, okay? So we're trying to, again, this is gonna help with our, our guard retention. <laughs> I hope no one makes a highlight video of just this because we're gonna look very silly. Silly! <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Day five, guys. This has gone I've absolutely mad shit. in quarantine. That's uh, just me normal. You haven't shown um, people you're dancing yet. Guys, don't lift your hips off the ground. So for this one, don't do this. I want you to keep your hips on the ground. You're just turning your foot as, as much as you can. Okay, so you're just working your the amount your hip can actually oh, rotate. Jesus. All right, good. That'll be for that. All right, now let's do some. Um, hamstring. Actually, a group, some people talked about, I talked about active and passive range, right guys? So, you can't see the top here, but uh, you can grip on the top of your toes, so you're pulling your toes backwards with this one and start to straighten your leg like so. Okay, if you feel this at the back, even if your knee's not straight, if you're feeling it at the back of the knee, this is going to be your sciatic nerve that's just being stretched. So you see I'm pulling my toes back and I'm straightening my leg up. If you are very flexible and you can straighten your leg and start pulling it back towards this way, okay? Um, uh, what was I gonna say? Our passive and active range. Okay, actually with your with your bottom leg as well, make sure it's facing up, like we're not falling to the side here. We're you facing up. Can we point up. your feet because it looks prettier? But not on the one that you're holding. Don't point your feet. Because we want to target the sciatic nerve on this one, and then we can point our feet for the next one when we do the splits, which will be more your hamstring. Okay. Um, active and passive range. So your 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 active range, like your ability to move your foot will never be further than your passive range which is the ability to pull your foot. Okay. Um, so first of all, if you don't have the passive range, it's hard to develop <laughs> a good active range. So that's why these static stretches are important. Um, but it is also, as I said, important to be working on your active range. What's that? It's not timer. Oh, okay, switch. That's what you said. I didn't hear you said. Okay. He never switch listens sides. to me, guys. Never listens to me. Interesting angles with the guy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> very oh, awkward. My left's not as good as my right here. He copied me. My left is also not as good. Let's copy everyone, Mark. Yep. <laughs> Point your toe. Point it, because it looks better. You don't get deductions. Don't do that. And listen to it. Listen to it. <laughs> nice crutch. Thank you. Hope <laughs> <laughs> oh people get a watch this. <laughs> Classy grappler's gonna have a good time. Oh yeah, I gotta give a Switch. I gotta give a let's do an active version of that now. So pointing your pulling your toes back and lifting your foot as much as you can. Okay. Maybe just go left then right. Might as well. This reminds me of my gymnastics days. Luke Beston re requested a shout out, so I'm gonna shout out to the greatest troll there is. Professor Luke Beston. Professor uh, Oss. <laughs> I don't know what to say. He's a if, you, if, you don't, if you don't follow him on uh, Facebook, make sure you do. He's, he's hilarious. Is he good? He's pretty funny. Alright, let's go to. Uh, front splits, okay. Again, this is my better, better side. This time, point your toes away, so that it's not your sciatic nerve. I wanted to target more your hamstring this time, so your top leg, point your toes, and slide, you know, drop your hips as low as possible. I, I don't mind if your knee's a little bit bent here. Uh, obviously, if you're very flexible, that will straighten, and that's fine, okay. 
keep your, don't like turn out, not like this, you want to have your back knee pointing to the ground. Oh, okay. like this? Yeah, shush. Guys, if you can do this, you know, if you got plenty of time, do this multiple times per day. Um, you know, yeah, you know, if you want to do it five times a day, do it five times a day. But probably once, once will still get you the, uh, improvements if, you, if you're pushing yourself, uh, you know, reasonably hard. Don't expect it to be immediate. Like you'll probably notice, you know, over a month that you've improved, and then the next month you've improved again, and then you know, hopefully in a year you can do the splits. Switch. I still can't. So. We need to be tortured a little bit to do this. Like I was in the 80s. Oh. Well, we should have been abused as a <laughs> child gymnast in Poland in the 80s. They used to, um, we used to stretch one chair here, the other chair here, with our legs like that, and we used to have a coach, like sit on our shoulders or our backs, and we used to cry a lot. That was fun times in my life. Even more fun than Corona. Quarantine. How long ago did that person live? 22 minutes? We've got 8 minutes left, so... Is that enough on this side? Did you put a timer? Uh, I think so. With Best and Sir, please give me a shout out and remind everyone how shit we felt. Uh... Yeah. Alright guys, uh, let's go hip flexion. So this time we're going to put our foot down, other leg back. Try and... I already did... No, I didn't do this yet. Yeah. Drop your shoulders straight down to the ground with your knee, like with your shin vertical, okay? Don't twist your body when I'm going sideways like this or this. We're going straight down with that shoulder. I can't do it well because my hip doesn't handle extension super well, so I'm just trying to jam into the flexion here. So. I'm way more flexible than live here. In one direction. He's better yet again. One direction. Yeah, I think your shoulders and your thoracic spine is way more flexible. Shoulders. Yeah, but yeah. Your shoulders. And your wrists and your elbows and your fingers are better. You can also do toe extension. I don't have any because I've got arthritis. <coughs> Hey guys, since filming this video, um, I had Sebastian Brosh, who runs yoga for BJJ, send me a message. He gave me a, a um, access to his yoga website as well. So uh, I had a look, it's, it's really good. So if it's something you wanted to can continue and practice different types of stretches for different parts of your body, I found the content I saw there really good too. So obviously this is uh, some stretches that I do specifically for, but mostly focused on the hips for, for Jiu Jitsu, but you can get some like, um, more in-depth content through through that website. I'll put the, the link below if you're interested in that. Cheers guys. Uh, next one is um, internal rotation. 
find a wall, get your leg flat against the wall, and you can use your hands against the wall with your knee, trying to turn yourself. Face the camera. Motivation to roll with Lucky today. <laughs> you get to start in good positions, don't you? Get Still not gonna work. So it might, you never know. And then if it works, you're gonna go and wait and then throw me off. <laughs> <laughs> so bench presser off so <laughs> Can you bother me and I'll try to get out? Shout out to Michael Bergen who showed me this stretch. Or Horgs, as we call it. It's not Harrigan, he doesn't even know how to say his last name. It's Harrigan. actually Hurrigan. It's Hurrigan. It's uh, Lord. Horrigan. My Highness. Um, his lady, but not a merry one. She's got a married lady. I'm just. Me Lord and my lady. Whatever, don't roll your eyes. He's <laughs> my Lord. I don't, think the average, I don't think the average viewer gets your personal <laughs> jokes that you have. They will after this quarantine is over. Should be kind of floating there should be a gap here and you're trying to push your your forefoot this part of your foot not so much your ankle but your forefoot down into that gap you can try and do it like lives way up for this way Stretch and get inconvenient in that muscle.
Oh, put your socks on. It's easy to stretch. To side splits? Yeah. Side splits is next. So if you've got a partner, we're going to do it with a partner. If not, you can do it like if you have a couch, you like this, this, or you can do it on your your knees too. Um, if you have a couch, put your leg up. I'm not very flexible this way. This is where one direction I haven't stretched as much as I as I should. So I think it's going to push. I always find if you push it the ankles my, my knee gets sore from this just from like the, the torsion of the knee so pushing like below the line of the knee for me kind of saves my knee and makes it just my adductors you know what we should record us playing dead fish mm. Yeah, Ice cream and cupcakes and, and like quarantine <laughs> and jujitsu. Remember when we used to do jujitsu? And while you're here, you can grip fight. <laughs> Knee tap drill. Guys, if he gets me too much, I'll just increase the stretch. <laughs> <laughs> Did you put a timer on I don't know. <laughs> you can double the time. I'm sure that's good. <laughs> I did not. No. Right. I just do it off the cap. <laughs> you do it sit against the edge. Live so flexible that basically it doesn't work. <laughs> what? Okay, do I push? <laughs> it doesn't do anything. It doesn't? Thoracic and 
Change. Change. And the last one, we'll just do a few of these, you don't have to do too many, but it's good to be able to uh, try and touch your feet or knees towards the back behind you. That's your arm back, like this. Just go as far as you can, obviously. Oh, Liv's going to show her bonus technique. Because my hip doesn't like being pushed into end range of extension, so I find this a little bit more gentle. I put a foam roller under my low back. One, uh, I'll do it this leg. One uh, leg I just close, hold to my, hold close to my chest, and the other one I just kind of let go and let it hang a bit. So the weight of the leg will just, I just feel a nice stretch here without jamming up into my hip joint. Could maybe do this at the same time. Alright. Do you want me to? Yeah, you can stop. Alright. See you guys. Thanks guys. <laughs>